hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel welcome back to life is it welcome back to vlogmas day eight <laughs> Hey guys hey girl hey hey citizens i am back home yes i'm back home no i was not ready to come home but i'm back home um i know my videos are a bit behind because the internet i'm telling y'all was so whack so whack i cannot believe how whack it was i cannot believe they charge you like 20 something dollars a day for that internet and then they tell you you can surf and you can do this you can do that no no, no, no. It took me over eight hours to upload a video that was probably 15 minutes. So, yeah, my videos is backed up. Then, guys, I actually lost a SIM card with footage on it. So, I was going to talk about it, but I'm talking about it. Yeah, because I got to get it out. Yes, I lost one of my SIM cards because I, I usually work with two SIM cards. So, I don't have to wait for one to upload and then record if I need to record back to back. So... But, yes, your girl lost a SIM card. I don't know if I threw it in the trash. I don't know where it is. Looks high and low, and I can't find it. It's gone. So, yeah. So, we are on day eight, and I am home. My vacation was, you know, it was very relaxing, and that's what me and babe wanted to do. We just wanted to go away. We just wanted to relax, enjoy the sceneries, eat some food. We really don't do too much when it comes to like excursions and things like that. We usually save that when we do like our family vacations. So, um, yeah. And then like on the last two days, it was cold. So I did not go. I didn't get off the ship on the last day at Coco Cay because it was 72. And for me to go on the beach, it has to be at least 80, 82 and up for me to go on the beach. I am very um i'm always cool so that wasn't gonna work for me so we just chilled on the ship and um we did do like a couple comedy shows and things like that but i didn't record that but i'm back and i'm back and i'm back and i'm back and um i hope you guys are enjoying vlogmas i will link my playlist up here if you haven't started watching that girl go and watch it i don't know what you're waiting for go on a nice little cruise with me to nassau bahamas and just enjoy the scenery so i will link my playlist from up here it will be one through seven um and i'm going to catch up i'm going to keep recording and it's probably going to go past the 25th but i will have my 25 vlogmas videos out to you guys so right now i just got a shower got dressed i just threw on this gray sweatsuit from h and m it's just regular plain sweatsuit and today i am trying again the baccarat rouge 540 um like i said it smells good i love the way it smells i'm thinking maybe i need to add the body oil to this as well so it lasts a little bit longer so i am going to try to see if i can purchase that from neiman's i know they usually sell out pretty fast but i love the smell but it's not staying like i said it is it don't last long and babe's like he didn't even smell it if i put it on in the morning he come home for work he doesn't even smell it so i don't know if i have to reapply in eight hours but like i said my delina i don't have to do that but yeah so i'm basically all unpacked i just have a few more things to unpack a couple loads of laundry um, I am going to run some errands. I have to run to the bank. And um, I'm just going to grab me some Chick-fil-A. And you guys can come along with me. And I do have some goodies that I am going to unbox with you guys. And um, two things I want to share with you guys. I was supposed to share on my last vlog and I didn't. I got a new um, vacuum cleaner. And I have a new um, spot cleaner that I am going to clean my couch when I get back from the bank and um, Chick-fil-A so we could do that together and I want to you know see how it works it'd be my first time I usually have somebody come out and clean it but I want to save money and do it myself especially I got this spot cleaner it's a, a Bissell 
I got it on sale um, on Black Friday, and then I had some Target points. So I got it a really good deal. And I took this with me on a cruise. I packed it in my carry-on bag, and it keeps my jewelry in here. And I loved it. It's my first time using it since I got it. And it stored everything pretty good. I like to keep my rings. I kept my rings in here. And then um, I had took off my Van Cleef bracelets and I put them on here. And then in the pockets here is where I stored my earrings. And then underneath the little cushion things where you put thing, your bracelets and your rings, this is where I stored my necklace. And it didn't get tangled. It's only one little necklace and then my Van Cleef necklace. But that's where I stored that. And then my Chanel earrings that I found that I lost and they was in my Chanel 19 bag and I found them I did I where did I find it? what was I doing I think I was at the car dealership with my daughter and I would just put my hands in a pocket and I found them I actually did a what's in my bag and did not know they were in there they were in there the whole time that I did what's in my bag how crazy is that but I'm happy I got them back um so yeah and then I did get to purchase a few things while we were away um after we got off the ship when we debark the ship on the last day we had a day in um orlando and we was at coral springs loved it loved it loved it loved it great shopping the azura was um huge i will add in some clips I really enjoyed myself there. I figured I will talk to you guys about it. It was nice. The Zora, if you haven't been there, it's downtown Disney is what it used to be called the last time I was there. But they had a really nice Zora, huge um, inventory stacked up. Um, they had a free people. I got a couple um, jeans from there, which I will show you because I actually brought these back. I uh, got two pair of free people jeans and this is the bag that they gave me. It came in, which is so cute. And these jeans are just so adorable. I actually seen a girl in Zora, and she had on these jeans. And um, she had on a crop top, so that's how I know there was free people because of the tag on the back. This says, um, we are the free. So if you know free people, you know that's their tag. So I went to see if they had the jeans and they had um, a couple colors, but I wanted a black pair and they are the button fly with the buttons, the rose gold buttons. And um, they're like cropped and real wide leg, but they just fit my shape so good. Babe loved them. I actually got them in a 28. I thought I needed like a 30, but no, free people run pretty good. And they're like, I'm going to populate a picture right here so y'all can see what they actually look like from the website. So I got those and I got these in black and then I got another pair coming. I think they're supposed to be here tomorrow. So these are going to look so cute with like my loafers, Uggs, basically any and everything. They're just different. The way the jeans are shaped, they're different. But like I said, they're short and they're like oversized boyfriend fit and um their crop but they are super cute i'm so happy that they had some in there so yeah they had a free people they had joe malone i went joe malone i will insert some footage somewhere for you guys and i did pick up a few things from there so i will definitely share that with y'all later on in this vlog but right now i am going to run to the bank and chick-fil-a and i will talk to y'all um I don't know what I'm about to do with my hair. I think I'm just going to put on a hat because I don't feel like doing my, um, I don't feel like doing my wig right now. I really don't. On these jeans were, let me tell you the price on these jeans. I think they were $98. <clears throat> yeah, they were $98. The only thing I don't like about shopping in Florida is you pay taxes on your clothes. So store tax was $6.37. But the ones that they shipped to me, I didn't have to pay taxes because they were shipping it to New Jersey. And Free People has, um, it was free shipping. But I love the little bag that it came with. And these are so adorable. I can't wait to wear them. 
And this goes like this. Yeah, so I have a few things that I picked up while on vacation and I will be sharing with you guys some of the things you probably will have to wait because they were my Christmas gifts that I picked up while I was there. So I won't be showing everything, but I will show y'all some items. So like I said, I'm going to get ready and go and pick up some Chick-fil-A and go to the bank. And I will talk to you guys a little later. I'm just going to put some eyebrow gel on. And um, I hope y'all enjoyed, you know, my little ship videos. I know I didn't get to talk as much to you guys because I was really trying to enjoy myself and... I don't want Babe to feel super obligated to be like, I got to record, I got to record, we got to stop, we need an extra 10 minutes to do this, we got to do this, and then we can enjoy that. I didn't want to do that because this was like our first getaway for this year, and that's it, it's the end of the year, we didn't really do anything. Yeah, we might have went to New York a couple times, stayed at um, the ocean a couple times, but it's not like a, like, really relaxing where we just get to chill and enjoy each other and laugh you know go to shows watch tv eat don't have to clean up behind ourselves really basically you know everything is done for you so you get to really um relax you know you know don't have i don't have to wake up and make up my bed every day because you you have somebody to do that for you. That's that's what we love about the cruise and where we really get to be on like relax mode. Period. Like I don't have to do nothing. I don't have to take no dishes to the sink. I don't have to think about what we're eating. We just go as we please, and um, we don't set like a really tight schedule. Like I know some people cruise and they like okay at three o'clock we doing this. At four o'clock we doing this. Five o'clock we doing this. We're going to have dinner. We don't do that. This was the first time we ever had dinner reservations. We usually do my time dining and then we decide if we're going to uh, the, um, what is it called? The Windjammer or we're going to go to one of the restaurants or we're just going to sit at the main table and eat. And we just wing it like that because we just like to be so laid back. But this was the first time that we ever did this and this is like our fourth cruise and we did the reservations for dinner at three different restaurants and it was okay but we didn't we really didn't like being committed to that hour you know understand what i'm saying we really didn't want to be committed to that hour and we said we'll never do it again we enjoyed it it was okay but we the point of us being on a cruise us is we just like to chill and just go with the flow. You know what I mean? Like, go on the deck, have some drinks, and fall asleep. That's basically what we wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. So, the next one, we're definitely not um, committing to, like, a sit-down dinner. If we do, it'll be like, last minute, if y'all have a reservation, you have a reservation. Okay, guys, I'm my battery's running out, and I'm running to the bank. Get me some lunch, and I will check in with you guys when I get back. And I'm in my son's car, but I'm going to set y'all up different because this is terrible. Much better. All right, that's so much better. So right now, I'm just driving my son's... I'm just driving my son's car. Um, it's a whole story behind this right now, but I really don't want to get into it. I'll talk about it later. I don't even like the color, and I'm on my phone. But it's whatever. Um, what did I jump? I wanted to jump back on here and tell y'all something. I can't even remember. Maybe it was a to vent about my car. So. For those who don't know, or for those who know, y'all know I bought a G-Wagon last year. It's like my dream car. So I've been driving it for almost a year. Um, this month makes one year that I had the G-Wagon or whatever. So it was a brand new G-Wagon. Like I said, my dream car. I'm so excited for the car. I love the car. It's The car is my everything. So I figured I'll talk to y'all about it 
Oh. Well, I eat my lunch, but let me get to a parking spot. Because I'm going to eat in the car, guys. So hopefully this car is not too loud on this video. So, all right, we're just gonna make it do what we do. So, like I was saying, I don't even know where I left off at because I'm struggling with my phone, with these notifications and everything. All right, so y'all know I bought my dream car last year. I love it, don't get me wrong. Love the way it drives, love the way it handles. I just love everything about it. Well, the other day, I was driving my car, and I don't drive it every day. I don't drive it every day, because it is a very expensive car. Um, I just don't drive it every day. Car mukbang. So... The other day, because I put less than 10,000 miles on the car. The other day, I'm driving it and it starts stuttering. All right. All right, what the hell? It shuts off. My wagon shuts off. Child, I'm sick right now. The check engine light come on. Now, mind you, we would change on time. I don't drive. I don't. I haven't even, like, broken in. So, I'm like, am I not driving it enough? So, this happened before I left for the cruise, so... It's been parked in the garage. So then the other day when I came home yesterday, I was like, let me see if the check engine like come on. So I called Mercedes, they like, oh, it should be fine. Maybe they didn't um screw your gas cap on all the way. Sometimes that can cause a problem. Mm-mm. I don't think it's that. So, I checked, and the check engine light was off. So, I was like, all right. They told me I don't have to leave it parked. Maybe I'll just drive it. So, I was driving it. No problems, no problems. An hour later, I'm leaving out of Walmart parking lot. Driving, it's just like, Geez. I'm like, what the f child. So I had to pull over. Pull over. Turn it off. Sit for 20 minutes to start it out. Tell me somebody pissed. Now I know it's all cars have problems, but damn. Um, so, I gotta take my car tomorrow. I have an appointment at 8 o'clock in the morning to drop it off. Hopefully, I don't even know. I don't know nothing about transmissions, situations. All I know is during the pandemic, Mercedes was having issues with their chips. I don't know if they have anything to do with it. But I don't think I'm missing the chip. But I think that was mostly in, like, the AMGs. So, I don't know, y'all. But, my baby is down for the count right now. So, now I'm cruising around in my son's BMW. So... I don't know. I didn't even get a chance to get give y'all a car tour. I wanted to wait till after I had it for one year to do the car tour. I was going to do the car tour, but I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it because I don't know how long they're going to have my car. 
hopefully they put it on the computer and be like, oh, it's this, and it's an easy fix. At least whatever it is, it's going to be covered under the warranty. So I'm not stressing about that part. But I'm stressed. But luxury cars have problems too. They shouldn't as much as they cost. But would I change buying my G-Wagon? Not for the world. I would not give it back. I would not change it for nothing else. Like, I wanted a G Wagon since like 2015. And I patiently waited till it was my time. That was my time. So, I just wanted to come on here and give y'all a little Life with Sid update. In case I do another um, What's in My Bad Car video. And I'll be doing it from another vehicle. <laughs> because my wagon is in the shop. But she's going to be fine. I'm going to put that positive energy out in the air. Coco gonna be fine. They're gonna get it back to me in less than a day. Two days, less than two days. She's gonna be fine. She just needs some tender love of care. I probably just need to drive her more. That's what they're gonna tell me. Drive her some more. You feeling lonely in the garage. So, that's what I'm going to have to do. Mm. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all. Did y'all watch the Netflix movie, Leave the World Behind? Child. I think Obama is like one of the executive writers or producers or something. I didn't watch the credits, but my daughter was telling me, watch it. Let me tell y'all. Good. Good. Go on. Stop what you're doing. Go on next place right now. Watch it. Cause it's good. I'm so rude. I didn't even add, offer y'all no chicken. Want some chicken? <laughs> y'all ready for Christmas? Y'all got all y'all Christmas stuff under the tree. All y'all gifts for y'all loved ones. Because I'm not. I'll probably do a little bit of shopping tomorrow. I order a couple things. The tie. I don't know what I'm going to get my son. I think I'm gonna just give money. I think I'm gonna just give money to all my nieces and my nephews. Is that lazy? Just giving out money? But they're teenagers. I was just like, let me just. But I feel like it's not thoughtful. I'm gonna send them Apple Cash. 
for the message. Merry Christmas. I think that's what I'm gonna do. To avoid all this gift wrapping, shipping. They're kind of taking the fun out of it, but they probably would think my gifts is lame anyway. I was probably buying like Bath and Body Works, PJs, hair stuff. I'm They're a little expensive, so they're not getting me this year. Give them all a little budget. Because when I give them a budget, I'll be like, what you want? I always go with my budget. So, to avoid that, I think I'm just going to cash. Cash. Apple cash. And call it a day. All right, y'all. I'm rambling. I need to get back to the house and clean this um this sofa. So I'll see y'all at the house. Okay, y'all. I am back home. I finished doing all my running around. So I'm about to um, see if I can use this machine for the first time by myself. The baby's not here. So I'm going to get that, unbox it, and see how easy it is. A lot of people make it seem like it's super easy when they be doing it. So I'm going to try it and hopefully... My couch come clean. I do have some stains on it that, like, I will probably just try to get out with a rag until I can get it clean. But I want, like I said, I want to save money and I want to try to do it myself. So, wish me luck. Let me get it. This is it. This is what I got from Target on Black Friday. Kind of this way. So hopefully y'all can see this. It is a spot and stain remover so we're going to be trying this bad boy out and hopefully i think it comes with like a little starter kit with all the stuff in the inside because i didn't buy anything i think it comes with that so i'm just going to open it up let me get some papers i'm gonna just take all the pillows off the couch i'm trying to get this done before we have family night tonight we are going to um Escape room in Atlantic City. I think we never did this one. We did one in New York and we did one, um, I think, in Philly. It's been some time. But give us something to do. Some family time. All right, so it comes with like instructions on the box. Then it comes with a little booklet. Let's show you how to use it with all the instructions on how to set it up. And we're just going to get this thing popping. So oh, it do come with um, spot and stain treatment. So I don't have to buy that right off the bat. Come with a small bottle. Probably won't be able to do the whole couch with that small bottle. So, let me just take it out. What is this? Is this parts? So this is more like um, attachments. This is accessories. It's attachments. So that will help if I can get it out the box. Here we go. I had to put some muscle to it. 
with my new spot cleaner. The time we, the, um, we have a seven o'clock appointment. Yeah, I'm gonna get ready and I just woke up. How many naps you had today? I'm catching up. Catching up? Yeah. No such thing nap. as catching up. I'm only that. I, I tell you and your dad all, all the time. There's no catching up. I'm only that. Why is this so short? Yeah, it's kind of bummer. Well, I hope this work. Okay. All right, y'all go get ready. Because we have to be there at, at seven, seven. Not leave the house at, at seven. seven. No, they have to be walking out the door at seven o'clock. No, we have to be there at seven. Right, so I'm gonna figure out these attachments, read the instructions, and get cleaning, girl. I don't. I don't feel like this is gonna be like slave labor or like. I don't think this is gonna be like hard. This is like the three in one attachment. Yeah, it's just like using a vacuum cleaner, but just water comes out of it. Here's the other one. This is the one we suck it up. All right, all right. All right, so I'm gonna get it set up and then um, I'll come back on here. Okay, so I got everything put together inside of the bissel all my attachments so i'm just gonna try a small area because like i said i'm getting ready to go out for family night so i'm just gonna do a small area of the couch and see how that comes out all right so i'm just gonna try this area first so let me adjust the camera a little bit Y'all can't really see, but I'm gonna try. This helped me. All right, so I got to take my machine back. It has a crack in the water, the part that holds the water, the water dispenser and the soap dispenser. So I will be packing this up and taking it back tomorrow. You really have to put your back into it. I know that because the cord is so short. So I'm not sure if I'm liking that, but I want to take it back tomorrow and see what they say. So, all right, guys, I'm going to get ready for family night and I probably will record a little bit when I'm there. So I will see y'all later.